watching Rebel Life Boxing. Step into the mind of a rebel. Let's get it. Say it ain't so, man. <laughs> Say it ain't so. Ryan Garcia, who just came off of a win against Luke Campbell for the 135 pound division, who was supposed to fight, it was supposed to be Tank Davis, he called out. And I'll have faith. I had I had real faith in the boy. I thought he really wanted to fight Tank. And it was clear he was ducking Devin. Pretty much. He was pretty hands down. He was definitely ducking Devin Haney. So now <laughs> it's come out that Ryan Garcia says he will be fighting Manny Pacquiao next. And I'm going to tell you, I didn't see that coming at all. Just totally blindsided by that. And although I'm blindsided by it, I'm not at all surprised. This is the sport of boxing. This is what boxing has become. This is not the same boxing that I grew up on. Very different. It's all about money now. And it's not about legacy. And it's not about being the best. Or fighting the best. It's about. It's a money grab thing now. And you're seeing it. With all of these boxes. I don't care. You're seeing it from Errol Spence. To Terrence Crawford. To Manny Pacquiao. To Ryan Garcia. Tank Davis. They're all. Rather it's the promoters doing it. Rather it's the boxers asking for it. It doesn't matter. The best aren't fighting the best. Very few. In between, that you'll you know you we'll get lucky if we get a, a really good fight. Um, out of five fights, you might get like one good fight that most of us want to see. The rest are just concocted bullshit ass fights or uneven matched. Yeah, come on, and then lots of times they be on pay per view or ESPN Plus. Like they want us to force us to pay for this garbage, you know and like I had said, it's pretty... Look, Conor McGregor was supposed to fight Pacquiao. That was on the table at first. First, you know, Manny Pacquiao's clearly ducking. Clearly. Now, you can say he's ducking for money. Don't matter. It's a duck is a fucking duck. Doesn't matter if it's for money or if it's for... Uh, um, out of fear. Doesn't matter. It's still duck. Clearly, he got two welterweights with belts. In front of him, Terrence Crawford, Errol Spence Jr., the only two belt holders left in the division. This dude flip flopping around. For one minute he wants to fight Arrow, then his man, then his uh, Conor McGregor, then his Arrow. Arrow is looking good. He's looking slow. Now then it's Conor McGregor again. Where the fuck did the Ryan Garcia thing come up? Where did that come from? You got a 135 pounder. Fighting a, a 147 pounder. Now, Manny ain't going down at 135. So, Ryan Garcia is going to have to go up. I don't know if they're going to fight at a catch weight. What, 145? Something like that. Or if uh, Ryan Garcia is going to go to welterweight. More than likely, it's going to be a catch weight fight. I would say 140. I'd say 143, 145. Could be wrong. We we'll have to see, right? But this is totally unacceptable. But it's not surprising because this is boxing. What has become? You know, I'm not too upset. I'm just like, what the fuck? Where did it come from? It just totally blindsided me. Nobody, at least I haven't read about anything about them fighting in the past. I didn't see it coming. I didn't see it coming. Total mismatch. Ryan Garcia will get obliterated by by uh, Manny Garcia uh, by Manny Pacquiao. This is clearly a money grab. It's kind of like when let me guess, is it like Ryan Garcia sees something in Manny Pacquiao the same way that Mikey Garcia saw something in Errol Spence? He gonna get his ass handed to him, just like Errol Spence handed Mikey Garcia his ass. It's gonna be the same fucking thing, the same thing. 
You're going to see Manny out boxing this dude. Probably going to knock him out. You know, this, this is this is nuts, man. That's this is a this is a stain. I think this is going to be a stain on his legacy if he takes this fight. I, I believe he might gain some experience from it. Who knows? He might take something from this fight. I just I'm just upset in a sense where you got all of this talent in front from both of them, from Ryan Garcia and Manny, both ducking. Both of them are clearly ducking. Manny guard Manny. Pacquiao got Errol Spence, Terrence Crawford in front of him with belts. Ryan Garcia got Javante Tank Davis, Devin Haney, Teofimo Lopez. All of them in one way or another have some kind of belt. Especially Teofimo and Devin Haney. Those are the real belt holders of the division. He skips over all of them, which is potential legacy fights that can make him into a, a star as well. But he want to skip past them. And jump right to Manny Pacquiao. What made Manny Pacquiao want to fight Ryan Garcia? What the fuck? Dude, listen, man. I've been saying this. He needs to just be stripped. Drop that WBA, man. Let all guys and Arrow scrap for that belt, bro. You know, I mean. Man, I I, I don't even know what else to say. I'm not going to really cook too much on it. It's bullshit. This is boxing, though. This is this is boxing. We're talking a sport here where you got MMA fighters potentially being able to fight for belts right off the bat. You got 135-pounders skipping up to 147 to fight welterweights. You got welterweights wanting to fight 135-pounders. You got 140-pounders, hence Mikey Garcia, skipping past all the smoke in his division. To fight a welterweight to get his ass beat the fuck up for 12 rounds. Unreal. Unreal, man. And then, you know, you got Andre not fighting Charlo. Charlo not fighting Andre. Charlo supposed to fight Jacobs. Triple G scared to fight Charlo. Scared to fight Andre. Canelo bouncing around trying to avoid fighting Charlo. Don't want to fight Andre. Yo. This is boxing now, man. It is, it's, it's becoming home of the prima donnas. You got Tia Fimo talking about he sent the contract. Devin Haney, you know what I'm saying, that he never sent the contract. First, he's saying he's he want to end Devin Haney's career. Then he's talking about Devin should, is ready to fight him in maybe two to three years. Then he's talking about he want to fight him again. I'm like, bro, this is this should... COVID them fucking these boxers heads up or in and these promoters. I, I really don't understand what's going on. Everything is a is a fucking theater. It's a show. It's theatrics now, man. But we'll see. Let me know what you think. Like and subscribe. We're watching Rebel Life Boxing.